Hello everyone. Welcome to another unboxing and review video. Previously, for my first video, as some of you might have seen it, I that was my first attempt at making video, and I I just took my phone camera and uh, reviewed the new keyboard which I which I had ordered, and the purpose of the video, as I said in my previous video, was to to make sure that everyone gets the get the uh, the uh, gets all his questions answered which they, they cannot find online on any website or any other youtube review video or any other place so now i'm planning to make more, more of such videos and and uh, previously i made my first video on a on a very old scrap juicer which i could find at my home and i fixed my my bike bike holder bike phone mount on it and made my video with this uh, this old crappy juicer and which i found in my scrap room and i i fixed a phone mount on this on this video like this and uh, put my phone here and use this for making the video but after watching other youtube videos and other videos from the youtube channel channels i decided to order myself a tripod so this is the unboxing of a tripod and the review of it let's just unbox it let's unbox this box i tend to cut the tips in a very orderly fashion so that i don't damage the the product inside it what i did was day before yesterday day before yesterday i i ordered this product sorry for the shaky camera day before yesterday i i ordered this product and to my surprise it was delivered to me within a single day i mean before yesterday i ordered it yesterday it was in the transport and it was showing that it is available for delivery and today i'm receiving this product to my surprise there's a big box for this thing and i i guess there must be more inside it let me turn on the flash okay. huh. it's an empty box to my surprise can you see that there's only a one cardboard in it okay let's just open the whole box and see if there's more inside it maybe i uh, uh, i could have just opened the other end of the box and see what's inside it that would be a better idea instead of cutting the whole box <laughs> There's nothing in there except Either. the whole box is empty with all the junk inside it i found only scrap paper inside this i think that they must not have any 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 of the any small boxes or any sort and they delivered me this box okay so this is the box it says that it's a digitech let me show you the front first it's a digitech lightweight tripod i ordered the dtr 550 lw there were many models available but this costed me 1420 there were models available from 1300 to um to 7000 or more and uh, let's go back to our juicer 
our old scrappy juicer and start the video with by mounting the phone okay so i mounted the phone in the uh, phone camera holder which i fixed on my my old juicer and uh, let's begin with this unboxing I've seen many reviewers re reading the box first. So let's see what it has on the box. It says that two-way head moving adjustment pan and steady rubberized legs, convenient accessories hook, bubble head to adjust horizontal position, multi-purpose head with quick re release, and multi-purpose head has two DVI, DV cameras. I think that you might have all these instructions on the Amazon website from where I, I, I ordered this product. And you must have read all these features before you before searching my video with the important details. These are all the common videos. Common things about the product. Okay. It opens from here. It's just a normal box. I don't have to tell you how to open a box. The product comes wrapped. The product comes wrapped in a plastic bag. To protect the bag, which will have the, which will have the fiber in it. It has a a big ribbon attached to it, a strap to carry the tripod, a shoulder strap, I guess. And the bag doesn't open fully, it, it opens from just one end till I guess around 12 inches. This must be 12 inches. Uh, it has got a silicone metal pad in it. Um, there is another plastic bag in it. This product comes really protected in plastics. They don't want anything to happen to the product. Okay. So, so this is the product as you can see. Okay. Uh, this has got extendable legs. It opens from here. And the other one goes like this, and then this goes like this. So this will help me in making my videos. I've also seen many YouTubers that they open only one leg and mount the tripod or two legs, and the third leg will go straight to the floor so that this balances on the on the table very good. See like this. I think that I will have to take out the camera again and show you how it is in this in the standing position. So let's talk about the top part of the on the tripod first. Okay, as all tripod opens, this also opens from like this in a very simple fashion. You can tighten the position with this round round knob here and, and it stops it from moving this hook is basically for attaching uh, stuff I mean if you are filming something or if you are shooting anywhere you can just mount the camera on the three legs and then um, mount the camera on the tripod and the tripod will be standing in this position and you can hang bags or, or some other equipment from this hook this comes very handy when you don't want to reach anything anywhere far and you can just hang the stuff here just this stuff which you want to quickly reach to okay let's come on the other side there is a handle attached to this product can you see that there is a handle attached to this product uh, the Move this part. This is my 
first time I'm handling a tripod in fact. Okay. This is good. It's quite satisfying. Let me move this thing. Can you see the grooves on the on this bar here? Can you? There are grooves on this bar. When you move this thing, it slides inside. When you rotate it, it slides inside. Again, let's see what what else it has. Okay, I don't want to put pressure on this thing. I think ah, it has got a. 360 degree moving it has got a 360 degree moving top this is good again okay and I want to open this part I think I'll have to adjust this thing first alright Ah, see, this is how it moves. Let's just put it back inside. Okay. Okay, here it was. And then about the top part. This thing is used to is used to change the camera position to pan it. If they call it panning, I don't know the technical camera words. And to the position which you want to fix the camera, you just have to tighten the screw, which holds right here. Let me show you the screw. The screw is right here. You just have to, you just have to, see, here I've loosened the screw, here I'm not tightening the screw. I think that I've taken it too much out. Let's do it again. Can you see the small nut there? If you can see the small nut here, let me show you how it works. Can you see that? No? Okay, let me show you from here. Uh, can you see this? Small nut. It's right there. It's inside. I, I have loosened it too far. So the nut became also loose. Let's just tighten this. Okay, coming back to the video. I have screwed the this handle back into the tripod here and it got fixed here in this small screw holder right inside here and it helps it move when you move in this direction this thing moves 360 the 360 movement can be stopped by this screw if I'm not wrong or maybe, or, or maybe this is for the for the huh. so this is to adjust the height of the height of the device which you are using height of the equipment or the phone or the camera whatever you are using and I just hold it here and this moves 360 so this is like the x and y axis this moves 360 it fixes the height once you tighten the screw this will move that makes sense as well 
You don't want the camera to be shaky or drop down when you're shooting the video. You can tighten the height with this. Second comes this. This is for turning the camera around in, the, in a circular motion. And this is to pan the camera if I'm not wrong. It's called panning. This is to pan the camera. You can lock the motion with this screw. It says that it loose and lock. Lock the motion with the screw. And now this shouldn't move. Let me tighten it more. Okay. No. It locks the this moment. When you tighten the screw, it doesn't let you move 360. It tightens this. It says lock and loose. It tightens this part. Now I'm having difficulty moving this in this motion. Okay. And about this motion, I guess this will work for it. Oh, this screw works actually. You have to tighten. You have to tighten this screw. And now this won't move. See? This won't move. But I can loosen it. And as it can't move up and down, it can go side by side. Okay. Now for the rest of it. Let's we'll see what this does. Yes. I'm loosening this. And this opens from here. There's a there's a let me first allow this tighten the screw to hold this close and now tighten retracting the height of the tripod tightening it so that it won't move this also is tightened this, the handle is tight it has a balance on it just to check that the camera and the tripod is mounted in a straight fashion instead of being tilted towards any of this side let's see the bubble balance can you see that And then comes this part. It's a phone mount. You can mount the phone here. Or you can keep stuff here, I guess. I don't have a DSLR, so I don't know much about these parts. But I guess the people who are having... All of you guys who are having a DSLR might be able... Might be of some help here. You can always type in comments and what this part that does. Let's see this from this way, from this angle. I was again losing this. You have to be careful with this thing. I'll fix this later. Okay, so it was to hold something here and it gets locked this way. You can tighten this. You can also hold the phone in any direction by putting the phone or the camera here and if you want to tilt the phone you can just fix it in a position which you find appropriate like this or you, you don't have to go to, uh, totally go 90 degree and you can tighten the equipment from this knob let's see what this, this does okay it says lock and free Lock is towards this and freeing is toward this direction. Ah, okay. So this is to tighten the equipment on the mount here. This is a screw and you must have seen a screw hole underneath many devices. So you can attach this under your device, under your DSLR or your oh, normal digital cams i don't know who uses digital cam these days but then if you still have one you 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 might find this screw space underneath your digital camera you can tighten this from the screw 
hold uh, beneath this see it moves and and after attaching your equipment here simply slide this back in lock the device and you are ready to work with this thing. okay about the product what do i think first this should not come out this thing this thing should not come out this should have some sort of hold here or maybe a little metal metal thing here or they, they could have just made this a little flatter so that the this thing will not come out i don't know if they have a purpose for it that you can change the this whole handlebar if you want a longer one or something but for me this should not come out secondly this is light and it is supposed to be light it is not supposed to be of very uh, of a very heavy metal or something because you have to carry it around and for the people who shoot around and travel along a tripod with a tripod this is quite light the weight of this might must be mentioned on the box it says 1200 grams that is like 1.2 kg 1.2 kg is nothing it's like holding a grocery bag of 1 kg okay and thirdly the plastic on this device plastic on this device is not up to the mark it is good and i am pretty sure that it is better than all the devices which are all the tripods which are uh, ranging between 4 to 600 or 700 because you know and uh, but it is not still up to the mark i paid 1400 on a lightning deal on amazon and this was of one triple line that is 2000 rupees and it this should be of 2000 rupees i trust this brand it's digitech i've used car chargers and many other chargers and equipment from digitech but so i so, so i thought of ordering this product i was getting a kodak tripod at the same price but i ordered digitech thought that what would kodak give me in this price but i was wrong i think i will have to return this product to check the kodak product and if that is okay i'll keep the kodak product okay about see the quality of plastic is not up to the mark all this plastic edges can you see the plastic here see this see this i think see the plastic here not good anyways guys uh, uh, huh, one thing more on amazon there were many tripods which were giving a phone holder to hold the phone here but uh, free with the tripod i guess that was the part of the tripod or the or part of the deal but with this tripod i am not getting any phone holder so i will have to order a new phone holder to mount on this camera holding space to attach my phone in this because I will be making many videos on my phone uh, for now so that finishes the review video thank you guys thank you for watching my video please comment about my video I need your reviews this is my first uh, this is my second attempt and please comment on my videos i need that thank you